we're back. All right, so let's look at example four. So a rectangle is bounded by the x-axis in the semicircle. Uh-oh. Uh, y equals root 25 minus x squared. So what length and the width should the rectangle have so that its area is a maximum? So let's draw this out. So semicircle. Hmm, not bad. Going from negative 5 to 5, and then it's hitting the y-axis at 5. And for those of you going, how did you know it was 5? Well, because if you look inside your equation for the semicircle, what's the square root of 25? 5. Okay, so our rectangle is in there. So it's hitting just the corners. So I'm looking at the entire rectangle. Well, if I measure the distance from the origin to each edge, each of them have a distance of an X. And then the height is given by Y. So let's get our primary and secondary equations going. So our primary equation area is a maximum. So I want the area, so I gotta be a little careful though, because I want the area of the entire rectangle, not just you know this half or this half. So the entire base is 2x, and then the height is just y. So let's get our secondary. Now the secondary is gonna be given by the, the semicircle itself. y equals root. 25 minus x squared. So I know what y is, so I'm going to plug it into the primary. And I'll do the derivative of this guy, which means I have to use the product rule. So the derivative of 2x would be 2. The square root stays the same. And then plus... 2x and the derivative of the square root. So 1 half 25 minus x squared to the negative 1 half times uh, the derivative of the inside, which would be negative 2x. So we're going to clean this up before we start solving it. So I'm going to clean it up just like we've done in class. So like the half and the 2 can cancel, and negative x times a negative 2x is just negative 2x squared. And then I'll flip the negative exponent back down to the denominator and change it back into a square root. If you wanted, you could also factor out what's common. Um, there's just different ways to approach it, but this is being consistent with what we've done before. So now we can get a common denominator. So 2 times 25 minus x squared minus 2x squared all over root 25 minus x squared and distribute and combine like terms. So 50 minus 4x squared all over root 25 minus x squared. And that's what we'll set equal to zero and solve for x from the top and the bottom. So from the denominator, that would be plus or minus five. And from the numerator, that would be, if you solved it, is that the numerator equal to zero? So x squared would be 50 over 4 or 25 halves. So x would be plus or minus 5 over root 2. So if you rationalized it, it would be plus or minus 5 root 2 over 2. So you got a lot of possibilities here. You have four different critical numbers. So we want the one choice 
that's going to maximize our area. So let's look at our answers and kind of think about it for a second. Your answers can't be negative because it's talking about actual dimensions. So you can drop the negatives out. And now you just have to choose between 5 and the nasty fraction. Well, if x is 5, what... So that would be like the width. What would be the height that would go with this? Well, you would plug it back into your y equation. So if x is 5, you plug it back into here, and y comes out to equal 0. So you have a width of 5 and a height of 0. That's not even a rectangle. So the 5 is out. So that only leaves one option, and that's gonna, since that's the only option left, that has to be the answer. So x is equal to 5 root 2 over 2. Well, it wants the dimensions of the rectangle, so that's x. We need the whole entire base. So that x is just half of it. So I gotta double it to give me the entire base. So if I double this fraction, it's just five root two. And then the height, that's gonna occur when X is that five root two over two. If I plugged it back into this equation here and worked it out, it comes out as five root two over two. So there, are your dimensions that maximize that rectangle inside this particular semicircle. Okay, so on the next video, I'll do uh, example uh, six because we're going to skip this example right here because it's a really good example and I really liked it, but I forgot that we can't use calculators or that we're not using them uh, and you kind of need it for this. So I typed it out and then went, whoops, can't use it. So skip this example, and we'll look at uh, example six.